Later in its service, in the early 60s, the previously all-white Valiants were repainted in camouflage colour and we trained at low level in an aircraft which was designed for high-level operations. Low-level operations at around 300 knots and at 250 feet meant that the aircraft was suffered, it suffered considerably more fatigue than it would have done so at high altitude in smooth air. And many people think that was the reason that the Valiant was actually phased out of service. The wings failed due to fatigue. That, in fact, is not the correct situation. Although there was an increase in fatigue, that was being accounted for and it would have led to the aircraft being withdrawn from service earlier than had it remained in use as a high altitude bomber or tanker or PR aircraft. But one of the problems of the Valiant not well understood at the time by the metallurgists, was that we had a phenomenon known as dissimilar metal corrosion. And this meant that two metals of different chemical composition in contact with each other could trigger a form of corrosion. And in 1964, a Valiant suffered an accident in Lincolnshire, and it is thought that the wing detached from an aircraft. And in fact, I was one of the crew, posted to a seven squadron at Mara to replace the crew, sadly lost. But the real cause of that accident was never fully and un- never re- determined. Until some uh, months later, about nine months later, an aircraft from the operational contr- uh, conversion unit at Gaydon actually was returning from a flight. And when they extended the flaps, there was a loud bang and the rear spar actually separated from the fuselage. And it was at that point that they realized they had a serious problem with the Valiant. Another similar incident shortly afterwards showed that there was indeed a serious problem and all of the Valiants were grounded shortly afterwards. We actually remained for a short time on, on assignment. We couldn't fly the aircraft, but we were remained on assignment in case of war emergency so we could launch if, if we were scrambled. But in the early part of December of 1965, the aircraft was withdrawn from service and scrapped. A premature end to basically what was a very, very fine aeroplane and much of the technology of the Valiant was later incorporated into the VC-10 Arlina. A very successful aeroplane, technically, if not commercially.